Well, looks like I'm gonna try to get this truck off the trailer today. Um, I have another donor truck I might be going to pick up and uh, it's a it's a possibility pretty good possibility I might be able to get it so I need to take <clears throat> take this truck off so I can have the trailer free to go go get the other one and uh, we'll see right now I have some I have some incredibly old and flat tires on the back haven't been aired up in I don't know how long but they are very very old I don't know if they'll take any air but you know back in the day they used to make these things pretty good so we're gonna see we're gonna see what it does here uh, yeah, let me see if this will work all right well I got it on the valve stem let's see if this tire will air up any Oh, it's coming up. Look at that. Unbelievable. I'm just going to put enough in there to make it... <clears throat> make it where it'll roll. Oh, my goodness. That is something else. In the water out that's inside. Maybe it has a tube in it. Might have a tube. Okay. Let's see if I can get the other side to air up. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Okay, let's see if we can get us lucky with this side. Uh oh. Running out of hose here. Ooh. That one's all rusted away. I hope it has a tube. Yeah, look at that. It does have a tube in it. Oh, this one. What's this one? Got one lug nut? Oh, that's nice. That's real safe. <clears throat> we'll see if I can pull. Yeah, I've only got two lug nuts on that one. <clears throat> oh yeah, I got extra. I'll pull some off of this side, see if I can get them over there. Get one over there at least. At least I'll have two. in my rolling toolbox. Uh, there we go. In oh, case y'all <clears throat> y'all don't know this yet, I got an aluminum radiator put in there. I never made a video on that. I haven't been getting a lot of videos on my uh, on the 52 so my incentive hasn't been there to you know film everything I'm doing but uh, I thought it'd be nice to film film this here see how my day goes all right that's the right size let's get this put on here
right. Need to hand start this. This is going to be a little bit warm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A little bit warm. Okay, started. Well, that brought that up snug. It's not really where I wanted to put it, but <clears throat> it'll do a It'll keep the wheel from falling off anyway. Yeah, let me air it up a little bit more. Look at that. Okay. I'm not overdoing this. I'm gonna get what we can get. Let's see if I can tighten up that some more. No. It's all you're giving me. Really. Be right across. It should be over there. Let's see if I can. I think I can do it here. If that nut isn't too scorching hot right now. Oh wow. Got it started right away. getting there. <clears throat> what about some lubricant? It's not going to hurt none. Oh, look at it smoke. Oh yeah, that's tight and hot, hot and tight. All right. Ooh, socket's hot too. Okay, get my tools out of the way.
Ah, this has more more air than that one. I wonder if I should try a little bit more. This gauge don't work, so I have no idea how much air pressure I have. All right, that's all I'm doing. Wow, it's pretty nice to see it sitting up on all fours. I haven't seen that since I've had it. Wow, nice. Oh, my cameraman decided to show up. Just pull my jacks, all that uh, debris out from underneath it, the uh, metal and all that, and let's see if we can get this party started.
Well, the truck's now sitting on the ground and uh, on all fours. Looks, uh, looks a lot smaller that way, don't it? Uh, I went ahead and I didn't make a video, but I started it back up. I got a belt for it and wound up that the, uh, the belt ended up popping off. And so I couldn't let it run that long. But anyway, it, uh, it was pretty uneventful taking it off. I was kind of hoping it would be. I, I want to do a couple more things to it, but I did, uh, I did tell you, I did give you a little snippet that I, uh, I'm planning on getting a donor truck and we'll see how that goes. I don't, I don't know, uh, dealing with a young man on it and he, he wrecked his truck and it's running and driving, but the body's all damaged. So, uh, if he gives me the deal I want, then I'll go ahead and I'll go over and pick it up and we'll have a donor truck for this. I've, uh, come to the conclusion that getting all these parts I need and, uh, the guy I bought this truck from is, uh, Eh, pretty you, you can go figure he's not being cooperative now he told me he would give me a transmission and give me a steering column and he he hasn't come through and I need so many parts I need a the transmission steering column I need the uh, clutch pedal brake pedal um, of course I can get the brake pedal master cylinder combo all in one but if I go down the line, I'm going to need U-joints. I'm going to need, uh, the drive shaft seems all right. I don't know how the rear end is. I'm going to need brakes all the way around, brake kits. Uh, the drums might be good. I didn't use my wheel breaker looser 2000 on the, on the rear. So the rear are still not, not free. But uh, anyway. I think I think a donor is the way to go and the way to get this done a little bit quicker and and easier for me so uh, anyway I know I say so uh, a lot but I really want to get this thing on the road I, I, I really want to drive it I never have even driven one of these trucks and I think it'll be really really cool but anyway until next time Thank you for watching Double Trouble Garage. I want you all to take care of yourself out there. Keep safe. And uh, you all have fun. Enjoy life. Enjoy doing what you're doing every day. Because you don't know what tomorrow holds. All right. Until next time. See ya.